bending of a cyclist this is a curb road this is a curb road r is the radius of this curb road and o is the center and a cyclist will be taking a turn around this rough curb road this is the curb road along which a cyclist will be taking a turn and we can draw the wheel we can draw the wheel of uh, the cyclist or by cycle this is the wheel of the bicycle we can denote horizontal and vertical direction and this is the wheel of the bicycle this is the wheel of the bicycle the weight of the bicycle uh, that is mg is acting vertically downwards weight of the bicycle that is mg is acting vertically downwards r is the normal reaction acted on the wheel of the bicycle applied by the curb road now we can consider the two rectangular components of normal reaction r r makes an angle theta with the vertical direction and vertical component of normal reaction r is r cos theta and the rectangular component of normal reaction r acting in the horizontal direction is r sin theta now this is the direction along which the centripetal force fc is acting centripetal force fc acts radially inwards now we can denote the imaginary curved line along which the bicycle will be taking a turn with a tangential velocity or translational velocity v v is the linear velocity with which the bicycle will be trying to take a turn round the curve road round the curve road the reaction force under bracket r on the wheels of the bicycle the reaction force under bracket r on the wheel of the bicycle is resolved into two rectangular components is resolved into two rectangular components which are given by r cos theta and r sin theta which are given by r cos theta and r sin theta in equilibrium r cos theta in equilibrium r cos theta will be equal to what and here r sin theta provides the necessary centripetal force r cos theta will be equal to mg and r sin theta provides the necessary centripetal force under bracket fc to the car to the bicycle r sin theta provides the necessary centripetal force fc to the cyclist for taking a turn to the bicycle cyclist for taking a turn around the rough curb road therefore r sin theta is equal to fc therefore fc divided by mg is equal to r sin theta divided by r cos theta if we consider the forces acting in the vertical direction then r cos theta will be equal to mg and uh, mg is the weight of the bicyclist and r sin theta supplies the necessary centripetal force fc for taking a turn round the curve road so therefore 1 by mg into mv square by r will be equal to sin theta divided by cos theta or comma v square by rg is equal to tan theta therefore tan theta is equal to v square divided by rg tan theta is equal to v square divided by r g hence the cyclist has to bend the cyclist has to bend at an angle of at an angle of theta equal 10 inverse v square divided by r g theta is equal 10 inverse v square divided by r g inwards inwards from his vertical position inwards from his vertical position comma while turning the curve road while turning the curve road so we get tan theta as equal v square divided by rg therefore theta is equal to tan inverse v square by rg 
the cyclist has to lean or has to bend at an angle the cyclist has to bend or lean at an angle of theta equal tan inverse v square by rg inwards from its vertical position while taking a turn 